Hello everyone, my name is Jose Pius from Community Services for Children, and today I'm going to be going over a demonstration of Class Dojo for you um, from the perspective of a parent and logging into their child's uh, login to see uh, their profile through Class Dojo. So this is the homepage for Class Dojo just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And if the teacher invites you to the classroom when they do, uh, you'll receive an email that looks similar to this. So it'll say it's from Class Dojo and that you're invited to join your child's class. What you would do is you would click the link and that'll uh, give you your child's name, the school that they're attending, and then the teacher that's inviting them to the class. So you would then confirm I'm Jose's parent and then it's going to ask you to sign up. So in order to sign up, you'll need to enter your first name, your last name, your email address, and then a password. Um, there is an, a mobile app version of Class Dojo. We'll be going over that in a different video, but today this would be if you were logging on from a desktop computer or from a laptop computer. So I've already created an, an account, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like once I log in. So it'll bring you to the home page, and what you'll see here is in the top right, it'll have your name, and then on the left hand side, it'll show you your child's name. If you have more than one child registered within Allentown School District, you are able to link multiple accounts to your profile. Um, so if you have any other children, you can link them here, and then their names would show up. What you'll wanna do is in order to look through the child's profile, whether it be their report or to contact the teacher, you would just wanna make sure that you click on that child. So in this case, there's only one, so I'm gonna click it. And then I'm gonna show you here that it would allow you to look at the class report if one were to be posted or the teacher can provide any updates there. The other important feature on here is the messaging system. So this is a really easy way to connect directly with the teacher, especially if you're gonna be using the mobile app. Um, you click on messages and then here it'll show you the classrooms that you're connected to. So in this case, the student Jose is in Mr. Piaz's class. And so it allows you to contact Mr. Piaz and ask any questions. So you'll see some sample messages here. Hello, Mr. Piaz, can you please give me an update on how Jose is doing in class? So you would able, you'd be able to just type out that message. And then that gets sent to the teacher and they get an alert on their system and then they're able to respond in the app. You can also attach files, so if you have a question about a certain assignment, you can attach that assignment and get any clarification that you need. And then the last uh, feature that I want to show you on here is the actual news feed. So right now it's giving you an update from Class Dojo itself, but if I scroll down, since the uh, sample profile I have is linked to Central Elementary School, this is showing me various updates from Central Elementary, but a lot of great information is posted here. You'll see that um, the staff has been very active in posting information to Central Elementary School uh, students. And so it's really important as a parent to be able to receive these updates all in one spot. Um, of course, you do have the different channels that Allentown uses, such as their website or their Facebook page, as well as their Twitter. Um, but this is another great um, piece to get updates directly from your school and connect with uh, school staff um, to ask them any questions. So um, it's really great that you should, you know, definitely keep an eye on this and see if there's any updates from your child's school, um, especially during this time, if there's any updates on any changes in class, or for example, looks like the librarian is asking um, next time you drop off um, or pick up items if they can please be returned and dropped off at Central and you can also send books to another school so that's a really great resource to have so definitely important to look for those updates and then lastly if you click on your name and then account settings it'll bring up a couple of different things here but one of the most important um, options it gives you is the language uh, preference so here I have it set to English you can change that 
And so you can change it to all of one of the languages that they have listed here. And when you do change that language, you would just hit save changes and that would take place. So if you log in and you'd like to set it to a different language, you would just wanna click on your name. Then that first um, box is gonna say account settings. And you'll scroll down to the third section, language preference, and then change that and select save changes and then it'll update. Um, so there you go. That's just a brief overview of Class Dojo um, and how to access both the account to set up an account and then to touch base with the teachers under the messaging as well as to see updates from your school from the news feed. So again, this is for the laptop or desktop version of Class Dojo. If you're going to be using the app, I will be uh, publishing another video that shows that using it on an iPhone. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Hola, mi nombre es Ali Campuzano y hoy les voy a hablar sobre Class Dojo y cómo usarlo desde la perspectiva de los padres y cómo ver el perfil. Así es como se ve cuando el maestro te invita a Class Dojo. Vas a recibir un correo electrónico que dice Class Dojo. Una vez le va a dar clic y va a aparecer el nombre de su hijo. Recuerda dónde van a ir y el nombre del maestro y luego tiene que confirmar que usted es el padre, de, el padre de ese hijo o hija. Y luego se va para que te registras. Vas a poner su nombre, su apellido, correo electrónico y su contraseña y le va a dar sign up. También hay una aplicación, una aplicación para Clash Dojo para la, el teléfono y tableta, pero este video es de la computadora. Como puede ver, ya hice una cuenta. Lo llevará a la página de inicio. En el lado superior derecho, le mostré su, su nombre. Y en el lado izquierdo lo muestra el nombre de su hijo. Si tiene otro estudiante de distrito escolar de Allentown, también puede agregarlo. También se puede comunicar con el maestro. Haga clic en el perfil de niño y aquí puede ver cuando hay una actualización. Algo más importante es el sistema de mensaje. Hazle clic en los mensajes y puede ver en qué clase están y puede enviar un mensaje, por ejemplo, hola, puede, puede informarme. sobre cómo le está yendo a Saelis en clase. Y eso se envía a la, a la maestra. Y el maestro puede, puede responder. También puede ajustar tareas. Otra cosa es el nuevo artículo en el que puedes ver todas las actualizaciones de la escuela. Y esta es una excelente manera de contactarte con una persona de la escuela. Por último, se hace clic en confirmaciones y le hace clic en confirmación de la cuenta. Puede cambiar la idioma a cualquier idioma que necesita y esto para la versión para computadora, no para la versión de la aplicación de teléfono o tableta. Espero que esto lo ha ayudado. Gracias y que tenga un buen día.